Hi, I'm Derek Hilton, and my channel is all about photographing and filming wildlife. Now, what have I got in store for you today? Let's take a look. Hi, and welcome to my office. My first video for the year 2018. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hope you had a good Christmas. I'm sure you did. I know I did. Behind me is a blue wren building a nest about three metres away, directly behind me. So just watch out for it while I'm doing this video. But that isn't the subject of the day. What is the subject of the day is clothing. When we're out in the bush, wherever, photographing and filming nature, we need to be comfortable. Clothing is just as important as our camera gear. It needs to keep us warm, cool, dry. It is really important. So I thought I'd do a video on it. I'm going to talk about where I buy it from, the companies that I buy off, the companies that make the clothes, and anything else I can think of. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Well, where do I buy my clothing from? Well, it certainly ain't at any store. I hate going down to shopping centres. Looking for a car park and wrestling with the crowds drives me nuts. I hate it. The internet is my place of choice to buy from. It's just fantastic. I love it. Makes life so much easier. Sit at home, cruise around, looking for bargains. And I'm looking for the top end gear at 50% or 70% or less. The stores that I buy off, I always subscribe to them so that I get notification when they have their sales. And I'll give you a list of the places that I buy off that I know are safe and I haven't had any problems with them. Touch wood that I don't. Yeah, reasonable customer service. Package turns up within a few days or if I buy it on a Monday, it's usually there on a Friday unless it's from interstate. The people that I buy off stores online uh, Anaconda, Rays Online, Mountain Design, Adventure Mega Store, and a few others that I can't remember. I'll write it up there. No, but they're the ones that I buy off and I haven't had any troubles with so far. Well, it's time to talk about clothing, and we're starting with the feet. What do I use to keep my feet nice and comfortable? Well, I like thin socks. I don't like the thick ones because my feet just get too hot. I've tried high-end socks. I've got a pair from Mountain Design. I've thrown them out for $8 marked down from $30. I thought I'd give them a go seeing how they were so cheap. Well, they didn't last any longer than a cheap pair of socks that you get from a supermarket. They were very comfortable, very soft for about three or four months. Then that dissipated and they didn't feel really any different than any other sock. And after uh, three years, they got a hole in the bottom. Just the same as the cheap ones. They last about three years as well. And really, I haven't bothered buying any more expensive ones. I just get them from the local Woolworths store. Well, now that we've got our socks sorted out, it's time to talk about boots. I've tried all different companies, all different types of boots, material, leather, and it's leather that I've come to like. They just last longer, they stay waterproof a lot longer as well. Get about a year out of the material ones and they start getting ratty, start opening up, and they lose their ability to keep dew and stuff out fairly quickly. Leather just seems to last a lot longer. These are the boots that I've bought last year, so they're a year old. Yes, it's sturdy. I don't look after my boots all that well. I torture them, really. But I get about three good years out of leather, sometimes four. This one's a year old. It's doing really well. It's not looking ratty. It's staying glued together well. It's not opened up there and that's normally where they open up on me around there on the other side a good company 
I've bought a lot of clothing off this particular company and I love the styles and everything but I thought I'd give their boots a try and that company is a Canadian company called Columbia it's going really well year old they're all right now, it did take a little while to break my left boot in as it gets flexed it was digging in the top of my foot it was a little uncomfortable there for about three months but it dissipated and it's been all right since i photograph and film all year round so i needed another boot that would keep my feet warm during the coldest part of winter i bought a snow boot and it's from the company that seemed to make really good gear one of the top end one of the top uh, companies for making snow gear is XTM. So I bought these snow boots. They're rubber on the bottom and the material on top. They've been fantastic. They're rated at 10 below, but when you're inactive, they're rated at 5 below. And that's plenty for me out here in the scrub. I've had one full winter with them, and man, did they keep my to feet toasty and warm. It's been fantastic. Love the boot. It will last me a really long time. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I'm only using them for winter. Then I clean them up, put them into a plastic bag. So the spiders and stuff don't get into them. And I'll wear them next winter. Yeah. They're not very comfortable for hiking, though. No. I just come out from my house into the forest. It takes me about 20 minutes. And I wouldn't like to walk for... Uh, three, four, five kilometers, they just wouldn't be very comfortable on your feet. They're good for being inactive, loving that boot at the minute. There's another boot that I bought, and it's a gum boot. I think the company name was Bogues, put up there anyway. It's a half boot, very comfortable on the base. Not good for hiking neither. But what I bought it for is when it's raining, walking through the puddles and stuff through here. Just, I don't have to think about it anymore. Just walk through. Just to make life a little better, a little bit more comfortable for me. Where I found them to be at their best though, is when I'm on a platform that I've made out the back here. I've made a nesting box for the Agile Antichinus, and I'm making a video on that. So that'll be next. They're very comfortable when you're inactive, standing on a platform. The base of them has a very thick, spongy stuff. And the boots I'm wearing now get uncomfortable. I'm standing for hours. I, an hour, hour and a half at the most, and then I've got to have a bit of a break, go and sit down somewhere, and then go back up again. The snow boots are the same, very uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not designed to standing for so long. So these particular gum boots, it's been awesome. Use them for when it's raining, but when I'm standing on the platform, I'll bring them out. Doesn't matter whether it's hot or whatever. It's just much better to be comfortable on your arches, everything. The pants that I buy are from that Canadian company, Columbia. They just make an awesome pair of pants. The material that they use is just fantastic. It's tough, hard wearing. Ultra thin, ultra light, quick drying. Absolutely love the design of them as well. They just last so long. I've got a pair at home I've had for 10 years now. That's when I started buying them. They've just lasted so well. I use them for casual wear. Probably have them for another 10 years. Go out to restaurants, I've dropped soy sauce on them and all sorts of food stuffs and the stains just come out real easy in the wash. They're just amazing. I love the style of them. These ones I've got on now are a light greeny colour. Great for in the bush here. You uh, blend in nicely. They're so quick to dry. This is the bit that I love about them and I can't speak more highly about them have how quick they dry. 20 minutes in say 20 degrees you can go from soaking wet to being dry within 20 minutes. It's just amazing. Walking through the scrub here when it's dewy. 
from there to there gets soaking wet. I oh, know, 20 minutes time, it's going to be dry as a bone. Don't stick to your lot. Most materials, when they're wet, it makes it easy to walk around the place still. A little uncomfortable, of course, because they're wet. But after a few minutes, they're drying, you don't feel them anymore. Oh, I just love them. Can't speak more highly about them. They're just an awesome pair of pants. Another great thing about these pants is when we're walking down a trail and we get bendy sticking to them. They brush off quite easily and the spikes, don't have to pick them out. They will brush out easily too, especially with a little brush at home, a little shoe brush. The only issue with them is the company that make them, Columbia, don't ship out to overseas, sell within America and Canada itself. So that's really hard to find them here in Australia. The companies that I've mentioned before sell them, but they're not always on sale. When they do and they're, on, they're a bargain, I find some money and I get them straight away. They're just so hard to find. Normal price is $130. Looking for a bargain, don't get them much less than $70, occasionally I have, if they're on sale. I've got to buy quite a few of them because I might not be able to get them again. But I'm not paying 130 bucks. I don't know how worth it, but I want the bargain. I want to buy a few of them at the time, so I need to uh, keep the price down. So that's my pants. Can't speak more highly of them. I absolutely love them. The t-shirts that I buy, well I've bought tons of them from different companies over the years and at the minute I've bought some from Columbia, as you can see here. Quite nice t-shirt, but yeah, finding the right material, a company that makes really nice stuff, it's been a little hard over the years. But the ones I've got on at the minute, quite liking. And they're a mixture of cotton and polyester. And the best thing about being a blend is the pong factor. Underarm. These, I would class them as medium. There's another company that I've bought off, and that is a t shirt that I have just here, and that's Cape. Make hiking clothing as well. These ones I've had for close to a year now, I think. The only thing I could pick on them is they're starting to fade a little bit. Yes, I wear them a lot out here in the bush. They get washed a lot from me sweating. They've just been tortured. So they're holding up pretty well, I guess. But yeah, they're not as bright and as nice a looking colour as they used to be. As far as doing a review on companies themselves, the Colombian company, most of their gear is just fantastic. They really do put a lot of effort into their clothes. Cape, supposed to be a high-end company. This t-shirt is, I bought a few of them. It's all polyester, the Pong Factor is up there. I'll just take that away because I'm reflecting the light back off it. I'm not happy with that company with their t-shirts, or these particular ones anyway. 100% polyester, pom factors are higher than these. The material, it's comfortable to wear and they're a loose fit, but they're peeling, so they're starting to you know, peel a bit here and there, holding their colour quite well. They're a year old as well. But it's just the fact that the material itself seems to be breaking down a little bit. Yeah, peeling a little bit. So, cape with t-shirts. Not that impressed with them so far. Jumpers. Very important for winter, summer. Thin ones for the summer. You only wear them for a little while when you first get out early in the morning. Take them off. Pack nicely in your backpack. Thicker jumpers need them to be good during the winter but we want to avoid having fleece on the outside we don't want bindies and other 
bits and pieces sticking to them while we're out in the scrub can be hard to get off. I've bought from a lot of companies over the years. At the minute, I'm quite happy with Columbia again. Got quite a few jumpers I've bought recently, all doing well. Some for summer, some for winter. To keep my hands warm and dry during the winter and in the summer months as well, I need some grubs. I bought myself XTM again, snow gear. These ones are touch screen friendly, very thin. I bought them for the summer. Keep my hands warm when I'm carrying the tripod around on a really cold morning. But the thing I love about them the best is keeping those mozzies away. Don't like to put too much insecticide on the skin. Don't want it to get rashy and all that sort of stuff. And when I'm getting really annoyed, I put these on. Touch screen friendly, and yes, they do really work well with a touch screen. Don't have too much issue with them. Yeah, they, unfortunately, are only waterproof for a short amount of time. Now they're not all that good. So still road testing this company, XTM. With these, they were, they were a cheap pair of gloves. Bought them for $30. They were half price, so $60 normally. But for keeping mozzies away, fantastic. Really good. And as I said, touch screen, they're not bad. Winter months. I needed something that was really 100% waterproof and would keep my fingers warm. I do have a little bit of a problem with circulation in my feet and in my hands. They get cold very quickly. So I needed a really good glove for the winter. These seem to be going really well. They've done one winter and they were really waterproof. Didn't get any issue with that. We'll see how we go this year. Yeah, so still road testing XTM products. Seeing just how good they are at being waterproof. Mm, they're supposed to be touchscreen friendly. Because they're thick, it doesn't work all that well. So, not really worried about that too much as long as I keep my fingers nice and warm during the winter really all I'm worried about great glove got that at a bargain price too that was half price fifty dollars marked down from a hundred I think not in most stores they're about a hundred and thirty bucks loving it keep uh, buying their stuff see how they go with them there's something I'm quite excited about, just as much as excited about the pants as I am with this product. Been after something like this for years. Lightweight, goes into your backpack and keeps you warm during the winter months. What could it be? Is it a sleeping bag? Is it a pillow? It is so small. Packs away to almost nothing. Well, it's a jacket. Not just any old jacket, it's a down jacket. Ultra light, ultra thin, packs away to nothing. Really been wanting one of these for quite some time now. Haven't been able to get them at a bargain price though. This was less than half price. Normally, 240 bucks. I got it for a hundred dollars delivered. Awesome. When I've been looking for these online, there was another company that made a much more high-end jacket. Could never get them for a bargain though. And the reason why I want them for it, they're totally recycled from plastic bottles. Try and do my bit if, if I can when I'm buying clothes that things are recyclable or made from recyclable products. This one has recycled, no, sorry, it's 100% it's recycle, or bull. You can recycle the plastic on the outside and the down inside. The company I really wanted to buy off had the material was recycled, but also the down inside was recycled as well. This one has a very high rating, got a little tag here. This came with it saying, uh, We've been certified and all of that. Everything's 100% recyclable. 
Uh, and that company is Eco Light. So road test this one, see how it goes. I bought it at the end of season sales, of course. So I didn't get to try it in freezing cold conditions. I've been in cold conditions. Rated at 20 below. So I'm guessing, you know, being active sitting there, probably more like 10 or five below rating for that. So there you go. Beautiful styling. Very comfortable, very thin. Easy to pack away. Disappears in your backpack. It just doesn't take up much room. I'm loving it. Can't wait to wear it during the winter. We'll see how we go. That's jackets. And we're pretty well finished, I think, now. I think we are. Well, that's all I've got for today. We've had a look at a few companies. Columbia is one of my favourite companies to buy off. Road test these other ones as we go along as well. XTM and the Eco Light. See how they go. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, yeah, there's awesome pants for men and women. Lightweight, quick drying, tough as nails. That jacket, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes during the winter. Really warm now, but in freezing conditions. We'll see how we go. All right, if you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below and you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you'd like to go and have a look at all the things I've been doing over the years, click on my icon down below, take it to my channel. Over 50 different videos to choose from, talking about camera accessories, camera gear, birds in flight, flash photography. The list goes on and on. And it's all about me practicing, trying to improve myself, speaking to the camera. Mozzies, go away. Which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. See ya. Just relaxing here, trying to get better because I've done about 50 takes of this. It's driving me nuts. You gonna come in? Yeah? Come in. Got a parrot. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. Self set up.